years later is a series where I take a look back on the past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode with Nicolas Cage, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Martin Scorsese. I'm gonna start with the anniversary and then end it near December, near the end of the year. This one being Robin Williams. I don't know much about him at all. The only thing I know about him is that he passed away in 2014 or 15. And then with all the news coverage, what I got from it was that he was just a guy, a comedian, an actor, trying to make people laugh. Despite all of that, he wasn't happy himself because I think he committed suicide. And so even the most happiest person or a person trying to make people laugh, somehow killed himself essentially i don't know a lot about him this movie came out in 1977 i think 45 years yeah 45 years so this is a starting point for years later episode but also going through robert williams filmography so this movie i mean i guess it is a movie but it's just a bunch of shorts about sexual jokes and that's really it i didn't laugh one bit in this movie it wasn't bad just didn't really laugh or even chuckle or thought it was really funny the only thing i wrote on my notes is frog i believe there's a parody of the one princess that kisses the frog or something which is that one i don't know much about that at all about frogs and kissing princesses but anyways robin williams is in two segments one he's in court talking about something i forgot about and two he think he's a nurse in a hospital and then the rest of the movie is kind of the same just like in sexual jokes done in different scenarios and i got nothing out of it really first quote-unquote film debut even though i think it's popeye that's his like first official this movie is technically his first one it's all right he's not in the majority of the movie there's other actors in there other skits small shorts so eh you know this is gonna be a really short years later but also short first start to a filmography because it's a whatever they didn't do it for me i don't know maybe i'm just not into the whole sex jokes or maybe it's the way that it's done but this movie wasn't really for me they didn't laugh one bit so can i do it till i need glasses does it hold up no comedy is subjective so it only holds up if you think this is funny and if you don't you just don't and so that's how it holds up so that is it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching